That was appalling. It's a travesty of justice. We need to take this all the way to the Supreme Court. We have friends there. You know, we'll talk to that gay justice, you know, that little fellow we like with the glasses. Jack, we've been over this. Ruth Bader Ginsburg is a woman. Yeah, well, I am not done with this. Uh, we need to get our message out there, you know, put it on the national stage. I know, I'll write an epic poem and post it on my website, www.justjack.com. What's an epic poem? It's long. Okay, scratch that. Okay, thinking, thinking, thinking. I know, I'll use the news media. I'll talk to Al Roker. Yeah, because as everyone knows, once you have an avuncular weatherman on your side, there's no end to your power. No, he's right over there doing the Today Show. Al! Al! All right! Ah! Oh, sorry. Let's take a look and show you what's going on as far as your weather's concerned. Mm -hmm. What weather is it? Big old handsome warm front coming in from the south. <laughs> oh, Stanley, you know I don't find that funny. Now get me another towel and put it on the real towel rack. Um, Josh, I I have something that I really need to tell you, and I don't know how to say it other than to just come out with it. Um, I'm in love with another man. You're... It's Will. You you met him. He he lives across the hall. Oh. Al! Al! Jack, there's a thousand people here. He's not going to talk to you. Al, it's my birthday. I'm 100 years old. Talk to me. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Hi. Oh, my God, Al Roker. Uh, uh, I don't know if you recognize me, but uh, my name is Jack McFarland, uh -huh. and I do a one-man show every Wednesday night at the duplex called Just Jack. Additional info on my website at www.justjack.com. Just Jack, what happened to Jill? You guys have a fight? No, it's my pail of water. No, it's my pail of water. No, it's my pail of water. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so funny. Anyways, um, reason we're here. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but on this week's episode of Along Came You, there was supposed to be a kiss, and there wasn't. Well, you know, Jack, sometimes a kiss is just not a kiss. Do we have any anniversaries Wait, 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 back to Jack. Oh. Uh, we went to complain, and this closet case upstairs, cute in an offbeat way, got his number, totally gave us the brush off. And I just want to know how long I'm going to have to wait until I can see two gay men kiss on network television. Not as long as you'd think. Oh, my Lord. Not your boyfriend, my ass. Nice love of my life. Kissing that guy. Man, that is incredible. I mean, four seconds before I did it, I didn't know I was going to do it, and then I just did it. Yes, well, brava. <laughs> I mean, but let's be honest with each other. We, we both know what actually happened this morning. <laughs> Remind us. Masking your attraction to me with a political agenda. I mean, you are so transparent. Wow, nothing gets by you. I just pray none of my boyfriends saw that tragic display. Because that's like five serious long term relationships down the tube. Five, huh? It's a lot of balls in the air. I can't believe we did it. Yes, well, despite how creepy the motivation, a lot of people out there owe us a big, fat thank you. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> because of your little on-air lip lock, I'm gonna spend the next week in an ashram with no heat with my undumped boyfriend, Josh. <laughs> I guess you were gonna break up with him. I was, until some big queen on the Today Show blew my alibi. <laughs> Talking about, about you. you. <laughs>